Namaskar YouTube! Also, anyone? Hello, welcome to today's video. Guys, today I'm about to react to the African people living in India. They are called the cities. I know most Indians know these people. The first day I got to know about these people, I was in shock, you know, I was surprised. Today, I'm happy to, you know, react to this video. You know, I chose this video because this video is much shorter than the one I watched. The one I watched was a documentary like 30 minutes long. I don't want to waste your time. So I just chose this video, this like about five minutes long. Yeah, let's dive straight into it. I'm talking too much. Yes. If you're new to this channel, subscribe. So let's go. Africa is a continent full of beauty. Its beauty can be seen through its places and its people. Welcome to the Amazing People of Africa series where we take a look at some of the indigenous people of Africa. We'll be looking at their lifestyle, culture, and getting to learn about life through their knowledge and experiences. Before we start, please take the time to subscribe and hit the notification bell. In today's video, we take you all the way to India. You may be wondering why, since this is a show about the amazing people of Africa. Well, with a population of over 1 billion, India has something quite unique, the cities. In every way, the cities are Indian citizens. They speak the language, they live the culture, they identify as Indians. But what you might not know is they are actually of African origin. The Sidi people are an Indo-African community that descended from the Bantu people of Africa. They originated from Southeast Africa, mm. from the coastal regions such as inland Tanzania, Malawi, and even DR Congo. Oh, okay. It is believed okay. that they were taken to India in several waves starting as early as the 7th century. Okay. Uh, from the video I watched, I didn't know they were from that part of Africa, Tanzania, Malawi, and those places. I never knew they were from there, but from that video I watched, they said Africa. For this video, we are specifying where these people were actually from, and this is insane. First by the Arab merchants, and later by the Portuguese and the British. Unfortunately, majority of them were taken to India as slaves, but some were also I, I, I taken know of as the story. blacksmiths, carpenters, and masons. Yes. Once there, they were forced to work for inhumane colonizers. The lucky cities held jobs such as guards, musicians, and agricultural workers. After centuries of the practice, India abolished slavery in the mid-1800s and the city people were freed. Unable to leave India, many of them formed their own communities. Today, there are about 850,000 cities in India. Unfortunately, due to the Indian caste system and racial discrimination, many cities went into self-exclusion by hiding in the forests immediately they were freed from bondage. Yes. They made the forests their homes and started farming to sustain their lives. Today, some cities still live in physical isolation in forests but majority of them have physically integrated in towns and villages. I actually watch one short, it's a short, like YouTube short. One CD was, you know, I don't want to talk about it. Let's just forget it. It's very humiliating, okay? So I just don't want to talk about it. Let's go straight into the video. The CD speak their own language called CD Basha which contains words tracking back to the Bantu language of Sub-Saharan Africa. And having lived in Karnataka for generations, they are also fluent in Kannada, the language spoken predominantly by the people of Karnataka. Despite having lived in India for centuries, the city have managed to retain their beautiful and unique African features because they mostly marry within their communities. Mm -hmm. It's extremely rare for a CD man to marry a person outside their community, although in Pakistan, a growing number of them do intermarry. They still hold dearly to their African cultural traditions, such as music, dance, and ceremonies. Wow. Their musical performances use a lot of percussional instruments, particularly African bamboo-style drums. When it comes to religion, it is important to the cities, but it has never been a source of division among the people. 
Most of the cities follow Hinduism, but there's a significant number following Islam and Christianity. The CD people caught national attention in India in the late 1980s when the Sports Authority of India racially decided that because of their African lineage, their natural athleticism could be used to win medals for India. Yeah, that is true. Cities face significant challenges both in India and Pakistan. They are forcefully put in lower Indian castes because they have a darker skin tone and have different physical traits. This is the main reason they face discrimination. Though the Indian government has put in some protective measures. On 8th January 2003, the Union government brought the cities under the list of scheduled tribes with a view to empowering them constitutionally. Further, policies to provide homes for homeless cities, water facilities, education, employment opportunities, and more was offered to the cities. What are your thoughts about today's video? Would you like to visit this community? And I will surely them? visit Let there us one day, the comments below. but not now. Thank you for watching, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and hit the notification. Okay guys, so this is the video. I decided not to make too much commentary in this video because I want you guys to know, like, I want you guys to enjoy this video. I want you guys to go into this video with me, like connect with the video so you can learn more. So I decided not to talk too much. And yeah, I'm just going to leave the video here. I'm not going to make any comments. I'm not going to say anything because I just want to say anything. So. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up and I'm out. Peace.